Are you ready to build a parachute? When you're ready, grab a plastic bag and smooth and flatten it on your surface. Now that your parachute is smooth, fold it in half, creating a crease. Unfold your parachute, revealing the crease that you just made. Then take an inch long piece of tape and place it at the end of the crease. Now take another inch long piece of tape and place it on the other end of the crease. Next, take your hole puncher and punch a hole. Make sure that it is in line with the crease that you just made. Then turn the bag to the other side and punch another hole that is again in line with the crease. Turn your parachute and again fold it in half, creating a second crease. Unfold your parachute, revealing the second crease made. Then take another inch long piece of tape and lay it across the crease. Take another inch long piece of tape and lay it across the crease at the other end. Then take your hole puncher and punch another hole along this crease. Turn your bag and punch a hole at the other end of the crease. Now you can see that you created two creases and made an intersection. Find the middle of that point and take one last final piece of inch long tape. Lay it across the intersection. Now roll your parachute towards the middle. This will help to get access to the middle part so you can punch a final hole. Once you've rolled close enough to the middle, take your hole puncher and punch the last hole. Make sure not to punch any of the rolled piece. After you've punched your hole, again smooth and flatten your parachute. You should now have five holes. In this next section, we're going to be measuring two 20 inch long pieces of dental floss. Take your dental floss in your bottom right hand corner and measure from the 10 to the bottom of the ruler. Then mark this spot and again pull to the 10 to the bottom of the ruler. Now tear off this piece of dental floss. Then make another 20 inch long piece. Now you should have two pieces of floss. Take one piece and select a hole and tie your dental floss to this hole. It's okay if there's a little bit of a tail, but you probably want to keep it under one inch. Make sure that you still have a loose end to the piece of floss that you just tied. Take your other piece of floss and tie it to the adjacent hole. Again, make sure that the tail is under an inch. You should now have two loose ends to your parachute. Flip over your parachute, take a piece of cardboard, and thread your floss through the cardboard. Then tie it to the hole adjacent. Again, try to keep the tail under one inch. This is what your floss should look like. 
Take your last piece of floss and thread it again through the cardboard piece. Tie it to the last remaining hole that is on the edge. Your parachute is now complete. Your floss should be straight across and not twisted. When you're ready, grab your parachute from the center hole and drop it to see how it works.